Hi guys, welcome back to Bible Time with Mrs. Barr. We're gonna be doing some of this from home for a while, but that's okay. Um, so, this is lesson 7.3. The topic for this week is Moses fears God. Your memory verse for this week is Hebrews chapter 10, verses 11 through 12. And it says, Day after day, every priest stands and performs his religious duties. Again and again, he offers the same sacrifice, which can never take away sins. But when this priest has offered for all time one sacri sacrifice for sins, he sat down at the right hand of God. That's Hebrews 10. 11 through 12. Let's remember verse. Okay, today, lesson 7.3, um, the, the faith of Moses. We're going to read Hebrews chapter 11, verse 23. So, not very far from our memory verse. By faith, Moses' parents hid him for three months after he was born because they saw he was no ordinary child and they were not afraid of the king's edict. Um, whose faith is this talked about in this verse? Moses's parents. How did Moses's parents boldly model their faith? They hid baby Moses. They hid the baby boy instead of letting him be killed. Moses's Hebrew parents had a greater fear and respect for God than for Pharaoh. Their faith gave them the boldness they needed to trust God and hide Moses in a basket in the Nile. Their fear of God, which means a living respect and security in his love while having a great awe of God's power, exceeded their fear of the punishment they could have suffered for disobeying the law. Now we're going to read Hebrews 11, 24 through 20, 28. Hold on, let me find it. By faith, Moses, when he had grown up, refused to be known as the son of Pharaoh's daughter. He chose to be mistreated along with the people of God rather than to enjoy the pleasure of sin for a short time. He, he regarded disgrace for the sake of Christ as of greater value than the tre treasures of Egypt because he was looking forward to his reward. Um, okay. By faith, he left Egypt, not fearing the king's anger. He persevered because he saw him who is invisible. By faith, he kept the Passover and the sprinkling of blood so that the destroyer of the firstborn would not touch the firstborn of Israel. Okay. How did Moses demonstrate his faith in this passage? He refused to be referred to as the son of Pharaoh's daughter. He was willing to s suffer affliction with the people of God instead of enjoying the sinful pleasures of Pharaoh's homeland. 
or household. He valued living and suffering for the sake of Christ greater than riches he could obtain in Egypt. He did not fear the anger of the king. He kept the Passover and the sprinkling of blood. Moses boldly chose truth. He could have stayed in the palace as a prince of Egypt, royal family with all its rights and privileges, but instead he demonstrated selflessness and personal sacrifice, accepting persecution and choosing pain for the incomparable riches of God's promises. God's promise. Moses's decision demonstrated his bold faith in God for all of us to see. Now we're going to read Hebrews 11:29. By faith the people passed through the Red Sea as on dry land. But when the Egyptians tried to do so, they were drowned. How did Moses demonstrate boldness in God's deliverance? He led the people of God through the Red Sea. Imagine what it must have been like to go through that. The Hebrews were trapped at the shore of the Red Sea with nowhere to go. The Egyptian chariots were in hot pursuit, but Moses believed God could and would move the water for them. And so he stretched out his arms, even when the sea parted, walking between those walls of water, took boldness and faith. A godly leader always looks to God for solutions and strength. Um, okay. You know, we're looking at how uh, Moses demonstrated strength and leadership and leading Israel. Okay. Then you're going to do your workbook page. Workbook page 7.3. And yeah, that's it for today. Have a great day. Bye. God bless.